But dude, you can actually put Nickelodeon slime blimps inside of your actual slime. Welcome home, Red Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, this show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And the owner of this channel happens to be a treasure tracking terrier. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon treasure hunting camera flip! Finally found it! The Dutchman's treasure! Wow. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here, and today we are gonna be going treasure hunting. On this channel, we go on searches everywhere, pretty much, with flea markets, mainstream retailers. Hell, I'd be even digging in my mom's garage for some stuff. <laughs> but recently, I found a new treasure hole, or a honey hole, or I probably should stop saying hole so many times. Probably. Is there, is there any other things for grand spots of greatness that aren't holes? I, I don't think so. They're, they're hidden spots that got good stuff. We in a recent video went to this random store called Dee Dee's Discounts, which I've never been to in my entire life, and we found so many awesome products that were SpongeBob themed that I haven't seen anywhere else. And of course, we're on the search for that SpongeBob stuff, Nickelodeon stuff, everything else I said. But I have to say that those places, not just Dee Dee's Discount, I think Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, any other discount clothing retailer, Parker, um, uh, Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, yeah, Five Low. You don't go shop at your mom enough. That is not a clothing department store. When I think of department stores, all I think about is half price clothing, most of it being Hurley and Billabong, or being reverted back to childhood, having to try on clothes. Like, why do I gotta tell you how many pieces I'm walking in with? I mean, I ain't gonna steal nothing. It seriously feels like you're in prison. Like, I gotta check out how many I got, what color it is, get this little card, make sure I don't lose that card. I got ADHD, that's stressful. No associates should have so much power. But the point is, you don't usually think about those stores, so therefore, I think there'd be a lot of hidden treasures for us in terms of nostalgia cartoon related stuff. So we're gonna go to some of these department stores, try to see what we can find, and flip over every unturned stone. I think these type of places are one of the last ones people check. So let's go find some hidden gems. Oh, and I can't not knock this light over because it started flickering. Really? So it's basically, oh, come on. Ha -ha! All right. Okay, so we are outside the Ross right now. That's a ran over burrito. You don't want to see it. But let's go ahead and get inside the Ross. <laughs> This is why we're looking for hidden gems, dude. We got the toy section over here, and most of this stuff is probably not gonna be for us. But dude, do you oh, see that Yu-Gi-Oh poster. Zoom on in on that. I don't know, we can just walk closer, but it's yeah, more dramatic if we zoom in closer. Zoom, 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 zoom in closer. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. That's just that. Oh, what? <laughs> Double for $10. I love that. Yeah, we're getting both of these. So this is what we're doing, So guys. fresh, so clean. Look at that, man, he just got <laughs> it wags. <laughs> but this is unbelievable, and this is what I'm saying, you wouldn't find this at Target. It's like kind of like a little hidden gem type of stuff they only have at these locations. So we're getting both of these guys. You guys know me. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! original series, and this is, this is like, that's season one right there. Absolutely. You know, that's unbelievable. And this guy right here, you've seen this art a lot, but we paid $5 at FYE for that little canvas. It's the same artwork. Yeah, you're right, you're so right. So this is 10 bucks. We're gonna yeah. full sized one so let's keep looking around we already found some hidden gem bangers Okay, so now we work our way over the toys. I mean, honestly, this has already blown me away. So right here, though, we got the Bluey's Water Squirtles. I haven't watched Bluey yet, but a lot of you guys recommended that I watch it. And I've seen some clips online, and I think I'm gonna definitely dive into it. So I wanna get these Water Squirtles since they're only $7.99. And then not just that, they have the Blue Spoon Scavenger Hunt here. How much are they asking for it? $5.49 is not bad. And then what do we got here? Well, phone puzzle, I think we can miss out on this. That's something that doesn't need to go in the cavern. But man, we are already on the go here. We have Stitch right here too. $5, we're gonna leave this guy, but I mean, there's just so much stuff here, surprisingly. So me and Parker are gonna keep looking around. He's gonna get some shots, of course, but if we find anything else, we'll check back in with you guys. Dude, what oh, the hell? What the heck? This is literally the hidden gem video, dude. They don't sell this anywhere. This is Nickelodeon Play-Doh slime. This is a collaboration with Play-Doh and Nickelodeon. And we just found it. I didn't even know this was released. This was the perfect hidden gem video, dude. Like, what the hell? These stories are insane. There's another one right here, too. Oh my god, I think that's the only two they have, so I'm gonna pick up both of those. That is insane. Let's keep looking. 
Oh, come on, man. Oh, my God. Now, this is one of those things where I want to have my rock star moment and just... <laughs> That's not even a guitar. What it's is a, it? It's a ukulele. Parker, you don't know how to read. It says guitar right It there. does say guitar, but there's only four strings, so it's either a bass guitar or that <laughs> ukulele. <laughs> you, this is a guitar for people with paws, Parker. Oh. Yeah. Now he My bad. Okay, guys, yeah, so we're still looking around here. We've got some cool stuff. We got the slime, fire, and ice, which is kind of cool, but they're asking $12 for it, so I mean, that's kind of a lot compared to the other things we found today. I'm sure we can find something else for that $12 a little better. Then over here, we have a Mrs. Piggy plush here. This is Disney. Yeah, because they actually own the Muppets now. But what can I say? I'm attracted to pigs. Okay, and then we got the blue. Fire in the Friends game. We have a lot of blue school stuff. Unless this is like really cheap, we probably, oh yeah, $3.99. Okay, yeah, we'll pick it up for $3.99. Can't miss that for three bucks. All right. I think we've actually probably checked out the whole toy section. Of course, we're gonna check the clothes, the socks. You know, we'll find some Nickelodeon socks in here, I'm pretty sure. But dude, look at this LeBron James. He looks so mad. <laughs> so what? I've had a couple losses in the finals. I got them rings. And then right here, you got like this whole thing where he's gonna Vince Carter and put his whole arm inside of the rim. And he's got even big hands to shoot. It's a cool product, but not for us. This guy right here is really cool. You've got three different types of Rubik's cubes inside here. Or I guess Rubik Sphere and Diamond and Tower. But you have all these different things in one. For like six dollars. If I had the attention span to do that, I would definitely pick it up. All right, and Parker saw actually. Oh, dude, Parker saw this hiding right back here. And this is Nickelodeon socks. I'm telling you, dude, these stores have so many hidden weird products you just don't see. But as I was, I was showing you showing me that, dude, we have freaking crazy boxers that actually they're only five dollars. That's my size too. Freaking so I mean like I can't pass that up for only four dollars. Like there's just so many good deals here for the stuff that we're looking for. Let's keep on moving. I mean, what is this down here? We got freaking Parker versus Zerd. <laughs> A dice game. There is so many good things here. I mean, there's a lot of Paw Patrol as usual, but that's okay. I'm starting to just accept that. But look at this, dude. We already got so many hidden gems. We have two freaking artworks for the walls. I just have we have all this here and this stuff. Like, come on. And this is all stuff you cannot find just on Amazon or like freaking Target accessibly. Okay, so we're in the mug section. We always know we're good for some branded stuff in the mugs. I did say this thing is kind of interesting and cool, but we have all these. We did find out the other day that I was a Quidditch world champion. Yes, saw that clip, but we don't have any any other Nickelodeon related stuff in this section that I can see. It's or Mario. It's Mario, that's pretty cool. We have a Zelda one that's pretty sick. I even like this one. You could like share it with somebody. They can grab that side, you can grab this side. You don't have a lot of drink, but you know. <laughs> But this, oh, dude, this guy's cool. We got a Scooby-Doo one right here. It's a little Scooby-Doo soup bowl with a little thing on here where you can actually release. What does this do? Is this like release the steam? Yeah, it releases pressure. Who would have thought that that affected your soup? But it's $6.99. I'm going to leave this guy because I already have something with this exact same design on it. So I think it's like a ramen bowl or something. So we're going to leave this guy. But it's really cool to see. And I did see this guy. This is not really for us. But I mean, who knows with this kind of design work, what they could release in the future. So we have a Harry Potter one right here, like I said, Quidditch champion. So I had to show you guys a little representation. You can actually see me right back here in the background behind this building. No, you just don't. I'm catching up with Harry. I'm going to get that before him. <laughs> really nothing in the clothing section. I thought we were gonna find so much stuff over here, but like, I cannot find any like graphic key. I see a Batman keyboard down there, you see that? I do. Go check over there, but I mean, do you ever need a shirt that just has like a pocket that does like this? I mean, I always find a use for that. <laughs> this is the weirdest clothes ever. There's this, and then there's this one too. There's anti-social, leave me alone. Oh, you should pick that up. I live this, I don't need to pick this up, okay? Let's go ahead and check over over here and see if there's anything with that Batman keyboard, and we're probably gonna work our way out of here. Okay, I mean, like, we made some jokes about it, dude, but this comes with a mouse, a keyboard, and headphones. How much do you think? Mm, here, like, 25. 25? Yeah. 11.99. I don't even care if this thing is Jerry the mouse. It's a mouse. It'll work. For freaking 11.99, that's an amazing deal. We're not gonna pick it up. I don't really need, it. need that, but it's cool. And then you got over here headphones with a power bank. Man, I'm actually gonna start coming here more often for stuff. There's some cool things in here besides the hidden gems. There's a lot of different hidden gems, but we're looking for the cartoon stuff. We found everything I think we need here. We might stop by at one more, just so there's one right next door, and then we're gonna head back to the cavern. Okay, we'll see what they got inside Marshalls. I mean, I think for sure, though, you get just a Paw Patrol stuff, considering it's named after one of the characters. Okay, so we made it to a section, and I knew we'd find it. We found Marshall inside of Marshalls. I knew, I knew, I knew we were gonna find this here. Are we in the dog toys? And I, I wish, but no, this was partly, you know, kids and dogs aren't that far apart, apparently, we got some Marshalls. <laughs> so we found that guy, but we're not gonna pick him up. We're gonna look around, see if we find anything substantial, like I said, if anything big, then we'll get it. If it's something small, then we already have a lot of stuff. Let's just check it out.
Okay, guys, so we are still looking around in here. We found some stuff, but mostly it's clothing stuff. We got the pink SpongeBob hoodie. I'm not gonna get this guy, but it'd be a perfect gift. I mean, it's just really unique, but I mean, I actually already have a black hoodie with his license plate on, so I'm gonna leave that. We have this box set, which is kind of cool, but again, it, first off, it's alarming. <laughs> What's alarming is how expensive it is. $25, maybe it's not that bad. You get a shirt, socks, and also the pants, but we have a lot of clothes already right now, and we have some socks already too, but this guy I'm not gonna leave behind, and this is the Scooby-Doo snacks with underwear and socks that you guys can see right here, but honestly, I just like the packaging right here of the Scooby snacks, and I definitely think I would try this stuff on for sure too, rather than just keeping it in my collection. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the Scooby snacks, and this is only $5. $25 versus five you know why i'm picking this one shout out to parker with all the little tiny small finds here i was literally looking for this this is the brain freeze ice cream i wish that the box wasn't so dented up and there's also a spongebob one of this too in the ice cream container i like packaging sometimes a lot more than the products <laughs> it seems like i'm gonna have enough underwear but i want this for the packaging and i want this for the packaging i'm gonna get this one just because it's only 5.99 and i don't see another one here i don't care that it's medium i'm not gonna open it but if we can find that spongebob one it'd be awesome but either way we got two awesome finds from marshall's this is all we find I'm happy with it. They have hella clothes. You got freaking boxers down here. But what I gotta say I love is this right here. These are bugs, but he's trying so hard to be the SpongeBob popsicle. There is such a huge trend around the SpongeBob popsicle. They were like, hey, Bugs Bunny's got a popsicle too. You know, <laughs> so they put it on the boxers there. Really cool, but again, we've only been able to find so far that one Patrick container here, but at least it's better than nothing. I wanted to find another one. If I ever see that SpongeBob one, you know I'm gonna pick it up, but at least we have the Patrick one. And we had a mystery machine one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this guy, but the packaging is really, really cool. It's the back of the mystery machine right there and we've seen what happens back there <laughs> oh man talk about toasted so guys we are back and we got a lot of stuff mostly at ross ross really came through today and then we also got a couple little things at marshall's but let's go ahead and go through everything we got today and of course we're going to add some of this stuff to the collection but let's go ahead and check out what we got at ross first okay so for the first one we got here we got the slime play-doh nickelodeon like speaker it gives you total 90s vibes because it has like the classic you know sitting on your shoulder giant afro afro picking the afro what's anything else that's uh early 90s Toothpicks. Toothpick in the mouth. And the ghetto blaster on your shoulder. This is supposed to be one of those old school boom boxes. But if you check it out, this is the first time I've ever seen Play-Doh collaborate with Nickelodeon Slime. Because if you don't know, Nickelodeon Slime is actually its own brand. So you have Play-Doh and Nickelodeon Slime. They finally collaborate to make this awesome product that I never even saw in the stores. So I got two of them. One, so we can open this up because the parts inside of this, you don't see me usually make the slime on this channel because I already have all of these Nickelodeon Slime capsules here, which are really good representations of the different Nickelodeon slimes that they have in the brand, but I have to open this one up, dude, because wait till you see how they did this. So we pop this open. We got our little old school Play-Dohs here. We got three little Play-Dohs. We also have the lime right here, but that's not it, man. We got some green, like little foil glitter things that I guess would go inside of the slime. And then you've got orange ones right here too. So, you know, you got a total Nickelodeon vibes here, but dude, you can actually put Nickelodeon slime blimps, blimps bro inside of your actual slime that's awesome that's so cool so we are gonna make our own Nickelodeon slime right here I don't know how you incorporate the play-doh maybe you mix the play-doh and the slime to make like a thicker slime mix it mix it up combine it yeah I guess so so slime actually mixes with play-doh which means this collaboration was made in heaven oh my gosh dude I thought I had another container inside of there but no dude look at that dude so you have actual blue slime in here it's kind of a thicker slime you want to rip and put your finger out oh Oh, oh. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I yeah, you're stuck with that. Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah, enjoy it. Okay, and then this is the Play-Doh. So this is Play-Doh, and it's mixed with the Nickelodeon Cloud Slime. And I can't even lie to you. This is so satisfying to pull apart. Wait, so it's already mixed? I guess the Play-Doh and the slime are already mixed. That is not what this is for. Oh, faulty. Yeah, they, they literally put stuff in there so you won't do that. So we have the slime, the cloud slime, but how do we put this together? Do we mix it with this one? No way. 
All right, let's just go for it. Let's just blend it all together. They said mix it, combine it. That's kind of cool though. So now it's like multi-textured. You got like the dense mixed with the like webbing. I'm not sure we did this right. <laughs> Should we add the green into this? I think you only have so much green. Okay, so absolutely. Not really. <laughs> I don't think I can stop you. Oh Boom. my God. So let's bring those two together. This still looks cool. Tell me that it looks like the best Nickelodeon lollipop or candy cane you've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty uh, appetizing. Yeah, that looks dope. That's why I keep trying to eat it. It doesn't taste that good. Neither does a slime. Speaking of slime, they released the Mellow Ball Puma Slime Shoe. If you guys want to see those on the channel, let me know and I'll pick up some of the Mellow Ball Slime Sneakers and we'll review them on the channel. Okay, so we have the purple slime right here and this one looks really cool. I can't even lie. Like, I love that color there. <laughs> Almost had it. I was just curious if it was possible. But right here, Parker said we can mix. I agree, the blue is not showing up nearly at all anymore. So let's try and see if these ones mix together. Oh, that was so cool. That was really cool to feel. Like, I just felt like I could just gershing out all of my fingers. Dude, look at that. All right, we are mixing them together. Oh, yeah. You gotta, I love it. You got to put the, the green flakes in there. Yeah, we're going to drop a little spice on this one. Here's what we're going to do. Do a little spice there. We're going to do a little spice here. And then where are our blimps? So we put a little spice right there, a little spice right there, and a little blimp lice. Yeah, we're going all in on this guy. So I think the best way to keep all this stuff in there is let's just fold it. Yeah, crush it. Crush it and fold it. And then once we get it all in there, oh yeah, that is sick. You can't see any of it. Where is it going? Where is the blimps? Oh, here's a little blimp. Let's get your blimps out of here. That's a game in itself. Find the blimps. <laughs> All right, guys, enough with the slime. Obviously, as you see, you had ADHD here. I get a little bit distracted. This is actually kind of amazing. Okay, that was definitely worth it for just the entertainment factor alone. So we have another one right here sealed in the collection as well. So, so that was awesome. Not always do we get to do that. Sometimes I have to just open it up for the video, and then we don't have another one. So that was really cool to be able to have this bonus one. I think that looks amazing on display. But the next item we got here is from Bluey, and these are Bluey water squirters. So the inside one here is Bluey, your favorite adventures now in the bath. But I don't know who this guy is over here. I think his name is Bingo, I want to guess. Does this say on the front? It's oh, it does. Okay, so this is Bingo. But I am not watched Bluey yet, but I actually did a little bit of research. You guys know me. Whenever anything new animated comes out, people are enjoying, you know, do a little research to try to find out what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But one thing I think is very interesting, maybe not a lot of people that actually watch Bluey know, is Bluey is an Australian kettle dog. And it's actually named after the dog who lived the absolute longest of ever, like in history. According to Guinness World Records, Bluey lived for 20 29 years and five months and is the oldest ever verified dog having only two owners in his lifetime it's not easy for a dog to live 29 years so shout out to bluey that's why i had to get a little bit of bluey representation in here i love dogs literally scooby-doo i did not even really know what scooby-doo was as a kid i just knew that he was a dog and i loved dogs and then i started watching the show when i started learning english and stuff and enjoyed the show but we got two bluey items in here the bluey ball the bingo squeaker and also the bluey one so these will be perfect on display. I don't think they're Nickelodeon. They're technically, this is a BBC show. It's actually made in Australia. It's an Australian animated team. So we don't have anywhere to put this exactly, but I think I might want to get a couple bluey items here and there. All right, the next up here, we have the Odd Socks. And Odd Socks, they do this all year round. They drop some crazy Odd Socks. So right here though, you can see we have an awesome packaging though. And this is honest, the reason I picked this up. And I think that Odd Socks knows that. Like they know, okay, people got socks. You know, you go to Target, Walmart, get this more than this. Originally, it was $12.99, but now it's brought down to $6.99 because Christmas now being over. I'm not going to pop it open just strictly because of the fact that it is sealed, and I think this makes a better display for Christmas time. But it does have a couple socks in there, and like I said, another situation where I feel like Nickelodeon has been doing this for the entire holiday season where they drop products where it's like almost besides this one, none of these are really Christmas themed. Maybe that's because, like in the past, a lot of companies have maybe lost a lot of you know money making stuff that's intended for Christmas only for it to then go on a discount. So for this stuff, maybe it's like, oh, well, the discounts won't have to go so low for people to buy it because there's so much stuff in here that's not Christmas. I am going to go ahead and open it, actually, though, because I'm very curious which one they chose for the Christmas theme one. It looks like they chose Rugrats. So that's a good choice for it. They did choose the Rugrats theme for Christmas. But like I said, if you look at the rest, that's Dill and Tommy. You got Arnold and Gerald there. You got Rocco. You know, really, there's just that one pair of socks in there that is Christmas themed. We got the sock five pack right here, though, crew length. But most importantly about that one is the packaging. Okay, the next up here, we've got the Blue's Clues game here. And we are going to be open up this one because this is just a find the friends game.
game, and I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, it, it may be hard for Parker, but for most of us, this is common knowledge when it comes hard to Blue's Clues. Hard for me, I already got it. Yeah, we already know that Blue's Clues is your weakness, though, because you ain't getting nothing of those. But it's just a dice card game. I just want to keep this guy sealed in the collection, just because we aren't probably going to end up playing it, so it's just another one to add to the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection, and also something for us to preserve. Then the next up we have here is another item that I got strictly for the packaging, and I wish they didn't put all these gross stickers on the front of it, but we've got the Krabby Patty fries. I wish that, I mean, we didn't see a lot of options. Yeah, I think that they got sold out probably because these boxes are kind of thrashed. I really bought this for the box. It's got a lot of, you know, dings up here, but let's check out the underwear. It's all fry based. So you have him right here. Like, well, of course you've seen this image many a times. We got the triple mega ultra deluxe Patty Supreme right here. But this image right here, you usually only see the space theme stuff around like Dollar Tree and like more like discount stores. And then you got Plankton here. Just like, I don't know what he has to do with French fries. I'm like, oh, you know me. Whether it's in the space or the sea crabs, they're gonna be in my restaurant, bye. But it's just all fry themed. Mainly I did get this for the packaging. As you guys know, I have a lot of freaking underwear, clothes, stuff like that. But this is technically an item to the collection, but it's even better when you got a cool display box. Let's see if we can get these stickers off. Oh, come on, Ross. They have the worst stickers in the world. I can't believe this. It's a travesty. There's no way to get these off because if I use any kind of chemical to try to loosen the stickers, I'm gonna damage this. So, I mean, honestly, this was kind of a rip, but at least we got it for what? $3.99, not too bad. All right, then next up we have another Blue's Clues game here. And this one's already kind of open, so I guess we can pop it open. Side here, it looks like you have some pieces here. You got salt, pepper, magenta, and also the clock here. But again, another board game. I'm not gonna probably end up playing this on the channel. I just wanna be able to add something new to the collection for only five bucks and actually a full game. So I can't complain too much about it, but at the same time, not too much to check out here. Okay, so then we've got here the Patrick underwear. And this one, again, we got this strictly for the packaging. It is kind of beat up, but I wanted to get one for representation on the channel here. So that way you can get a good shot of this guy for you. There is a SpongeBob one, Ryan will pop up on screen. But I gotta say, I mean, that is a nice, fun way to deliver boxers. Like, why not? You know, we've seen boxers a million and six times, but yet, nonetheless, you still need them. So you might as well get it in a really cool package. But dude, check out the undies. We got Patrick with his ball monitor hat on. And then you got the slime coming down from the top. I just think this thing is dope as heck. So let's go ahead and fold this guy back up, put that guy back in there and the lid. And it's gonna go ahead and stay probably like that in the collection, just because like I said, I mean, the coolest thing about this is probably the actual container. All right, now the last two items we had to save for last because they were just so spectacular. Only $10, and that's the key factor here, $10. You got the 2021 Avatar of the Last Airbender display here. Originally, this was $25, which I think that's a pretty reasonable price too. Uh, I guess this is debatable. Nowadays, a poster can cost you freaking almost $10 if you get the full size one because they've lowered the sizes of the posters recently. So if you get a full size poster, you're looking at like 10 bucks. So 10 bucks and you get an actual wood piece here. And I'm not saying that the Avatar design is anything spectacular that we haven't seen before, but he is in the Avatar stage. We got air, water, fire, earth, all being used at once. That is him finally becoming a fully realized avatar. So it's an iconic moment. So I understand why they use it so often. And either way, we could not leave this for $10 as we work on the avatar videos that are coming soon. And trust me guys, if you guys love avatar 2024, 2025, I'm going to be trying to research as much as I can about avatar in the next year here, because 2024, 2025 is going to be huge for avatar. We are going to have so much avatar merch coming out, so many new series coming out. So this is a really good pickup now before avatar gets a little crazy. Next one we got here is the $10 again, Yu-Gi-Oh framed artwork. I don't know what this material is here, but it's definitely not paper. It is a nice solid material. It's got kind of like a texture onto it as well to give it a nice little quality to it. So I mean, to get this actual solid artwork, season one, he's got the Duel's Kingdom glove, which is season one. So we got Kaiba right here. We got Yugi, we got Joey. I mean, that is awesome. Joey, we already know what you got there, man. We already know it's either freaking baby dragon. <laughs> what, maybe Time Wizard too? Season one, Joey. Had a couple good cards, but this is an amazing artwork. Me and Parker talked about how big Kaiba's head would have to be for all this hair to make sense. Like his head has to start like here, either that or it's like Yugi, and all his hair goes up and then down. Unbelievable! Just so glad that I was able to, I was able to get this guy. I don't have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in my collection, but this is definitely something that is perfect for me because it represents Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole without having anything too detailed into the later seasons that I wouldn't know about. This is perfect. 
Okay, so that is actually it for today, guys. That was so much fun, and we found so many hidden gems. I would say pretty much everything here we have on the table, excluding maybe like this, you probably could not even find in the stores like Target, Walmart, any of those places. And because they're new, you're not gonna find them at a flea market, a thrift store. It's a category upon its own. I don't know necessarily what to call it, but for right now, we're just gonna call it our little hidden gem spot. But anyway, you guys know the drill. Scan it. All right, guys, so we got the slime guy right here. You guys will be able to see it better from the camera from your guys' angle typically. So we have the boom box right here. This is kind of our slime section with the slime gun right here. We got the slime wobble. We also got this guy. And we even have the slime hair gel. I kind of want to make this the slime shelf and Cosmo and Wanda, they'll go different places. But they haven't dropped enough slime products yet to where I think there's something that needs to go in the background. It has to be a very unique item. They did release the Nickelodeon slime scooter, which I actually have in storage. But the way they built it, the actual slime slime handlebars ended up exploding just sitting there literally not even using it so it's not very displayable until they release more slime displayable items like the ketchup they have released that again other items we'll definitely put them there and the only item we had to remove to add a few new items in there was our Angelica Rugrats little golden book which actually has the autograph of Cheryl Chase in the book too but we're gonna go ahead and put this with the book collection so that way we have some more room over here and it's kind of belonged in the books anyway so with the board games over here I have some puzzles back there and some other stuff like that but I put these guys up here for right now. I think they look great in our board game section. I love the board games. You guys know how much I enjoy the board game section as a whole. And I think soon we're going to start putting the puzzles in the vault because if we're not going to build them, we might as well put them there so that we have the numbers. But at the same time, we do be playing the board games. So this guy right here will be going with all of the Christmas stuff. We're going to be taking all of this stuff down on Monday, which is going to be the new year. So new year, you're going to see the Google of the Nickmas tree, all this stuff in the background, but it's not going to be gone forever. We'll be seeing it again this next holiday and this item will be included with that so I'm gonna put all this stuff in storage along with some of the stuff we got from fan mail too so we can save it all for the next year but let me know if you guys want me to decorate for Valentine's Day we can get started a couple little things and save it for the next year too but that's actually it for right now of course we got to add so many amazing items to the collection and most importantly though to do with you so thank you so much for being here guys thank you so much for smacking that like button subscribe if you guys aren't already you guys are not gonna miss the next videos coming out and for sure you're not gonna miss the video right here here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are gonna love it. I did a video where I went into a literal box that has been sealed for almost 23 years, filled with Rugrats products. You guys love that video, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that video right there. And once you click on that playlist, it'll put you on the playlist of a bunch of awesome unboxings we've done right here on this channel in the cavern. So I'll see you guys over there, but as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. <laughs>